Welcome to the School to Book demo. My name is Renee Ross and I'm one of the senior consultants here at School Education. I'm excited to show you how to create a booking. Once you're logged into your School to Book account, you want to make sure that you're clicked on to your specific school and then you'll see this screen right here. On the top left side, you'll see new booking. Click and then you will have the page that allows you to create a booking. First things first, what day do you need an educator? Here you'll see a calendar and you'll have the ability to click on the specific day where you'll need support. If you need an educator for multiple days, you have the ability to do so. If there's anything longer than a week, you'll definitely want to reach out to your consultant and let them know. Next, you'll want to choose the classification. This lets the consultant know what type of teacher or support you'll need. If you need a lead teacher, then you'll click teacher. If you're looking for a TA, you'll click teaching aid. If you're looking for a lead teacher that is specifically certified in special education, you'll click special education SPED credential. And lastly, if you're looking for a SPED TA, then you'll click SPED aid. I'm going to click teacher. Next, you'll see that you'll have the option to create multiple bookings. If you click on this, it will ask you how many bookings per date. Please note that if you need multiple educators for different subjects and grade levels, whether or not for the same dates, you must create separate booking requests. Now you have the ability to choose the specific time that you'll need an educator. If you need an educator for the full day, and the start and end times are correct, then you can leave this mark check. If you need an educator for a half day, or perhaps these times are incorrect, then you'll uncheck this box. Now you'll have the ability to alter the time that works for your school. These hours work, so I'm gonna click full day. Next, you'll scroll down. Here you'll have the ability to add more information. What specific subjects will the educator support? What grades will they support? This is your opportunity to add that information. Say for instance, I need an educator to cover 10th and 11th grade biology. I'm going to choose those specific tags. It's really important that you input this information. Teachers are more likely to accept if they know what the day is gonna look like. It also allows the school consultant to find people that are just right for you. Next, you have the option to choose the staff member that's being replaced. This is not mandatory. You can add the room number. You do not need to provide a reason. At the bottom here, you'll see the note section. This section is incredibly important. If you have any general notes that you want the consultant to know, this is a great place to add them. Some examples of what schools will provide in this section, if they need someone with strong behavior management skills, perhaps they're looking for a TA and they want the TA to know the specific student or the type of student that the TA is gonna be supporting for the day. You also have the ability to add notes that you want to be relayed to the educator. Make note that this section is only seen by the consultant and not the educator. Once you scroll down, there are certifications. You wanna select any of the certifications to make them a requirement for this booking. On the left-hand side, once your booking looks great and is good to go, I'm gonna add some notes. Lesson plans will be provided. Our educators love to know if there's gonna be lesson plans. Sometimes our educators or our schools put in information about parking. Once this booking looks correct to you, you'll wanna check the confirmations. Here we have that confirmations go to Flores and Maddie. If there's anyone else that you would like to add, you have the ability to add them. A confirmation means that they will receive an email once we have found an educator. If all looks right to you, you'll want to click create booking. Here you'll receive success. That lets you know that the booking has been created and it is in our system so that our amazing consultants can get to work on it. You'll see it has the date, 
the start and end time, as well as the classifications, the grades, and who those confirmations will go to right along with the certifications. If you're looking to find bookings that you have created for your school site, what you'll wanna do is go to this screen and select the dates. Here you'll see days that you have requested bookings. Click on that and you will find the booking that has been created. Here you'll see that this booking has been unfilled, meaning that a consultant has not found an educator just yet. If the booking is filled, then you'll be able to see the specific educator booked in for that position. You'll also receive information via the confirmation email once an educator has been filled in that role as well. If you are looking to view or request educators that you've worked with in the past, then you have the ability to do so. Go to the left hand side of the screen and click on educators. Here you'll be able to see the educators that have been to your school sites. Please note that you do not have the ability to search through all the educators that we have. You can click on the educator, and once you click on the specific educator, you'll be able to see placements, certification, and qualifications. If you want to find educators that you have marked as highly prefer, you can click the star and you'll see some of your favorites. If you wanna see educators that have been to your school most recently, click on the stopwatch. Please note that you cannot search through our staff list you'll only be able to see educators that have been to your school. You're probably wondering, how do I give feedback to an educator? Well, the best way is to go to the booking and click provide feedback. You can see that here. This is gonna give you the ability to provide immediate feedback as to whether or not a sub is preferred and if you'd like them to return to your school or not. If they're preferred, you'll click here. If you want them to return to your school, you'll click yes. And if you do not want them to return to your school, you'll click no. For any time sensitive information, you'll definitely want to reach out to your consultant. Also, please note that if you choose no, a consultant most likely will reach out to you to ask for that feedback anyway. It's really important that we are able to support and help our educators grow. And so we appreciate any support, whether it be negative or positive that you have about a specific educator. If you are looking to view and download invoices, then this is the page that you'll want to be. On this homepage, you'll see a notification if you have pending invoices that need to be paid. It should be right around this area in orange. You'll click on view invoices to get redirected to the finances window. You can also click on the finance tab right here that's on the left hand menu. When you click on it, you'll see past, present, and future invoices. You're gonna also be able to see whether these invoices have been paid or unpaid. You'll be able to also search for the invoice you want to view in more detail. If you're interested in viewing the invoice, you can click on the document icon under the action column, right on the right-hand side. When you're viewing your invoices, you'll have the option to group them by either staff or day. Notice that you have the option to download the corresponding timesheets as well. And to download the invoice, you can click on the cloud icon. Please note that only approved account managers have access to the finance tab. If you would like to give access to multiple contacts, just let your designated consultant know. Forgot your school to book password and need some help signing in? No worries, we can help you with that. On the school to book sign in page, you want to scroll to the forgot password button, click it and follow the instructions to reset your password. If this doesn't work, you'll want to contact your designated school consultant or give us a call at 1-844-601-7827.